I wonder how you have found this season. Are you flourishing or are you floundering? I have definitely, personally, had my ups and downs. Times when I felt like, ah, oh, I'm really getting hold of something and I understand what God's wanting to do in this season. And times where I've really been struggling. I've lost a sense of vision and perspective and just began to drift, really, probably in the wrong direction. In those times, I have been so grateful for the sense of God speaking to me through his word, bringing me back on course. He re-envisions me, he refocuses me. And I wonder if you need some fresh vision and perspective today. Are you drifting off course or are you staying on course? Are you finding yourself heading in a direction that you don't think God really wants you to head in? A number of years ago, before our kids were ever born, in fact, before I was even married, uh, I went away with my parents and my brother to Ireland and um, we were playing golf and doing a whole mix of other things. But one day we uh, had this picnic lunch by a lake and um, my brother and I just enjoyed swimming after lunch and my dad decided that he'd rather go for a walk. So he said, why don't I just walk on the direction we're going um, on the road and then whenever you want to leave, you can leave and you can pick me up on the way. So um, we stayed and sort of played in the water and swam, etc. for about another hour or so and then thought, well, let's set off. He's had his nice walk now. We'll pick him up on the way. We went around the first corner and there he was coming back to us and looking completely confused when we arrived. And he goes, why have you come in that direction? And then as uh, we begin to, to delve a bit more and find out what's been going on, he talks about how and he walked along this road. He, he reached a point where there was a branch that was hanging right down and he was concerned it was going to get in the way of the cars that were coming along. So he, he spun round and round and round trying to twist it to break it off so it wasn't going to be a problem. In his spinning around and round and round, he totally lost sight of where he was going and he walked back the same way that he came. Once he realised what he'd done, he suddenly said, I did think there were a lot of houses that I'd seen on my left that then seemed very similar on my right. But it wasn't until we bumped into him that actually things began to make sense for him. Um, I, just sometimes we need those moments where God almost comes face to face with us and helps us see, ah, we've lost our way. And he helps us to bring us back on course. 